So you've got this nice homepage, and all this stuff is coming from data from a CMS. So other team members can use a UI to update the heading, the button text, and stuff like that. But here's where you may start running into problems. Next thing you know, the marketing team wants a second button. So you add a new couple fields of the CMS. It's a little ugly because now you have CTA link one and two, but whatever. Oh, and now we only need that button sometimes. So we'll say, okay, if we have that link included. A week later, now we want to have a subheading too, and only optionally. Another week later, you ask to add a third product sometimes. And then sometimes they want to rearrange the page entirely. This can start to be a huge mess and indicate that maybe a structured data model isn't the best representation of this page for me to not be always roped into their ever-changing needs. An alternative to a structured data model is a visual model that can dynamically render the content of this page, so I don't have to push new code every time the content team wants to make more modifications. A visual model flips things on its head, where you register components that are available to be used and what their props are, and once your design system is registered, your non-technical teams can rearrange the components in any configuration to keep things on brand and performance, but flexible enough so if they want to add or remove a button or a product or rearrange the components, that comes over an API and I don't have to hard code all of that, especially as it's always changing. With a visual model, you instead get a visual interface where you can change props, add or remove buttons, or drop in components from your design system and choose whatever prop values that you want, like the product or the style. For this example, I used Builder.io as the CMS, which is one that we make, but I hope we start seeing this type of feature in more CMSs over time too.